Hello YouTube, my name is Hero, and today we're going to be talking about Comma Self Part 2 and what it has done to Black Desert currently and how amazing it is. <laughs> I, I told you guys, I told you guys Comma Self Part 2 was going to make the game completely different and make uh, things a lot better, especially for newcomers. And the first thing I want to go over is the new gear. Now, every time a new region comes out, a new gear set is released with that region. For example, when Media came out, Grunel came out, when uh, Ancrea, and when Valencia came out, there was Rosar. So, Kama Sylph has come out, and there's a new gear set. And the new gear set for Kama Sylph is called Lemuria. And Lemuria is the best gear set that has ever come out in the game, uh, other than boss gear. And in some cases, it might even be a little bit better than boss gear. Um, so what it does is it gives you a set bonus and it also has bonuses just for wearing it, which is insane that and they're all good. So the set bonus for three pieces will give you movement speed plus one and crit plus one, which is very good. The uh, set bonus for four pieces will get, actually get you skill experience plus 10%, which is very good, especially for new players to get that skill EXP. It's a very, very, very cool that they're adding skill EXP to gear set. This makes it even good for people who already have boss armor to make it sort of their grinding set. Also, there's a set bonus of five pieces. Now you may be wondering, but Hero, you idiot, there's only four pieces to freaking a uh, armor set and I, uh, you're right but let's check it out so the five pieces gives you attack speed level plus two and casting speed level plus two this same thing almost as azaka azaka gives three but this gives two and then the five pieces is includes a laverto so a laverto is included now in this set bonus which is amazing so now wearing a laverto is almost a necessity for anyone and you don't really even have to worry about azaka when you're a new player you just get a laverta when a lamora set if you can lamoria set if you can not only that but the this like i said earlier the pieces give individual stats so lamoria helmet gives max hp plus 100 lamoria armor gives max mana plus 100 lamoria gloves give accuracy on enchant so that's the same thing as a bed gloves probably not as much accuracy but it still gives accuracy on enchant and then lamoria shoes gives evasion on enchant the same thing as a musket boot it's crazy it's crazy i'm sure it's not as much as those pieces because then they will kind of make it pointless to even bother getting them but that that is crazy that they're doing this this is very 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 good i'm sure the, i'm sure the dp values are going to be the same as say grenil or a Rosar. So it's very, very good that they are adding this. I'm very happy about that. That's definitely going to help new players get into the group of thing. Not only that, but when you start off in Comma Self, there's new accessories that have been added, and these are the ones that you get through quests. Okay. So the quest uh, accessories, they also give you a set piece when you wear all three pieces. It gives you max HP, max stamina, stamina plus 50 each. And also plus five damage against common self. Uh, this is just good for grinding, I guess. You can grind a little faster, plus five damage. It's not that big. You don't really have to have the set piece here, but um, the, you might as well because the accessories are so good, you just get them from questing. So you get um, a necklace that gives AP plus 10, DP plus five, max HP plus 50. That's fucking crazy. That's crazy. You get that you get that just for doing quests. That's crazy. That's so good for you guys. So good for people who are new. It's a great necklace, a great backup necklace for when you're ready to start enchanting. Just great. All around great. It's great. Uh, 15 stats on a necklace for free. It's great. Oath of Grena Ring with uh earring, sorry, which gives you AP plus four accuracy plus 14. 14 accuracy. That earring is incredible. That earring is so good amazing earring amazing accuracy plus 14 they did say something about the accuracy numbers being changed again in this patch so i'm not sure if that same accuracy 14 is the same we have now or not or whatever but that's still amazingly good that's a great earring definitely recommend got you guys picking that up if you have um anything uh under 11 ap on your earrings and then harmony of grain of ring which gives ap plus eight and dp plus two still very good very good all around amazing you're getting pretty much uh the the earring is like worth of a try accessory you understand uh 
a, a tri red coral and then the 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 ring is it's pretty good ap plus eight dp plus two not too bad it's all these things are all of these are great because they're free and you can enchant something else while you have these in your storage as a backup so you don't have to worry about those gear decreases so that's very good so they've also added two new accessories that drop from mobs okay so the tongue grab belt gives ap plus six black spirit rage plus 20 percent and ap plus three so the tongue grab set is finally complete um so it comes it's, it comes to unless there's going to be a tongue grab ring someday uh but right now we just have tongue grab earrings tongue grab tongue grab necklace and now tongue grab belt i guess there will be rings one day but for now you can get up to an additional 10 percent from each earring so that's 20 20 percent from the necklace and 20 percent from the belt so you can get up to 100 and um 60 percent black spirit rage so i'm assuming the rings will finish it off at 180 but that's very good also it goes up by three so this is a, the best belt in the game but it's going to be probably rare but we'll see about that it's the best belt in the game 100 percent ap bot goes up by three it starts at six so it's just going to have one more ap than a than a uh, bassy belt would which really isn't that big of a deal but you're also getting that 20 percent black spirit rage so still the best belt in the game for those people who want to min max obviously um and they've also added new foods now the new foods are uh kind of kind of weird but there is one that is very very interesting okay so we have um some that gives knowledge increase uh higher knowledge increase and then there's um there's a food that gives a back attack damage increase which is pretty interesting especially considering it gives 150 hp and stamina plus 200 this food might be good enough for some classes to replace the um magoria special if that back attack damage increase is good enough as well if they stack it with the back attack increase elixir and they like to back attack a lot <laughs> it's going to be a very good uh, meal for those kind of people so i'm very interested to see how that works in the game definitely interesting food okay so now let's talk about the new areas okay so there are four new areas in common Silve part two one area is called polly's forest that's the place with the mushrooms another area is called the fadis and the fadis live in the ring tree forest and it's simple is similar in difficulty to sauce and garrison the recommended ap is anywhere from 100 to 180 i would say probably you want to be around 150 awakened ap okay um that's going to be the new area where the the, the, the lowest people are going to be going so the lowest absolute lowest people are going to go to the fetus after that you're going to go to poly forest and maybe if you're with a group and then after that you're going to go to forest renos ren renarosos Ro wait <laughs> rona roses sorry that was fucking hard to pronounce rona roses and they live in the tooth fairies forest the tooth fairy really really black desert whatever and the new grind spot i'm not even gonna try to pronounce that <sighs> g shrine that's what we're gonna call it g shrine is especially designed for party grinding maximum of five players can loot from one monster that is huge so that's basically just group farming at that point it's like grinding on freaking gatekeepers this crazy great 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 you can loot via valuable items like tongue red belt and forest fury that is great so that is pretty much 100 percent group spot that's that because you can group because five people can kill one monster even if everyone is killing the whole fucking map it's better for your group if you have five people because then you can put on part special deals and you're going to get more money so it's it's freaking amazing like i told you guys they are prioritizing group play and i'm sure that maybe the other places won't allow five people to pick up one monster but i'm sh uh pick up on one monster but i'm sure it's going to be worth it for you guys to go as a group and once again all these areas are very close to each other and the last thing i want to talk about is the new city that is probably going to become the hub and it's called grana it's the comma sylvian capital city it's not called comma Silv, which is what you would think it'd be called it's called grana um so this is going to be the hometown of rangers and dark knights where lore wise if you guys care about that stuff but basically um this town is pretty freaking big and it's it's, it's beautiful obviously and it's going to be pretty much in the center of commissive all the way in, all the way in the south and 
the i'll show you some screenshots here there's 19 houses so it's not that many like it's not like common silk but there's a lot of houses here there's a lot of things to start getting built on there's a new wagon called the Paradox Forest Wagon that you can start building here. And uh, yeah, and it, it just looks beautiful. It looks amazing. I can't wait to explore this place with you guys. I can't wait to check it out. Hope it becomes the new hub of Black Desert. And hopefully, now that Common Self Part 2 has come out, we can get Common Self. Maybe we're gonna get Common Self Part 1 and 2 all in one, guys. I don't know. I don't wanna I don't wanna jinx it, but maybe that's what they've been holding out on. Cause Common Self Part 1 was kind of just supposed to be a teaser taste tester it didn't really add much to the game but common self part two is really supposed to be the game changer and we have to wait we have to give it some time it's only been out for a little while we have to give korean some time to go out and check it out and see what they see if they like it see if they if they feel for it and stuff like that and i'll let you guys know anything that i hear about it and i want to say thank you guys for watching um it's your boy hero if you enjoyed this information please hit me with a subscription and make sure you check out my streams on youtube and I stream every day. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Peace.